Hey guys, so as per request, I'm going to do a tutorial covering uh, integrating this footprint system here into the multiplayer survival game template. Now, to begin with, we need to set up a couple of things in the project before we do anything else. So, hit on uh, project settings and you want to go down to physics. And we're just going to set up a couple of surface types to begin with. So scroll all the way down to physical surfaces and we're going to use the default ones included in the footprint system which is sand, uh, concrete, dirt, wet and bloody. So once they are done you can close that and just click save all to ensure it closes. Um, we need to then also set up a couple of things on the character skeleton. So if we go into content SGT meshes character and then open up the skeleton, scroll down and find the section for feet. So we're gonna, on the foot underscore L add a socket, call it L underscore footprint socket. You can call this whatever you want, but we're gonna go with the same names that creator use and on this one we use our footprint socket and we just want to move those down so they're at the base of the foot I believe. I'm just going to copy and paste the location and see what it says from the other one. Yeah so we just want to put them at the base of the feet around about there. Might go a little bit and eh, we'll just leave it like that. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste these straight from the skeleton in the footprint example project. Whoops, that did not work well. Why did that one not work well? Okay, well let's move this on manually then, shall we? A little bit lower. I think that's about the same height as this one. That one's a little bit forward. That's good enough for our purposes. So we're going to save those. Um, so let me check my reference work. Yep, so now what we can do is we can integrate, uh, copy and paste this over. So we're going to just right click on the footprint folder and go migrate. And then we just select our project. Um, there, and it's going to copy them over and close the source project. Now we have this footprint folder here. Um, now we don't need this folder, we can delete that off straight off the bat, I believe. We'll just leave it, but you can definitely delete those out. It's just got the map in here, so it's calling up references to that. Um, but the next thing we need to do is jump into the animation blue, uh, sequences. So we're gonna just do this on one animation. In order to do this, you will need to go through every single walk animation and add these notifiers. We're just gonna add it to the walk forward rifles. That's the normal walk. So what you wanna do is hit pause and you wanna find roughly the locations where the footsteps happen. So we'll say one's about there, right click, I'm going to use two tracks just to make it a little bit easier. Right click on here, click add notifier and new notifier. And call this one right footstep, because it's his right foot. You want to scrub through, get the next one, about there. And we want to add another new one, and this one we're going to call left footstep. And then you just want to go through, do all of them. So right click on this one. This time we go add notify right footstep. And up here, about there it was. Just going to do these really roughly. Um, so you want to save that. And then what you want to do is go through and do that on all the other ones. So all the jog, sprint, sideways walking and all that sort of thing. But we're just going to do that one for now. Then what you want to do is jump back in, uh, move up a folder to the animations folder, open up the SGT anim blueprint, and you just want to go to the event graph, and you want a new section. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new variable to begin with. Cool. This is owner. And by default, that should be set to false. Um, and then what we're going to do is right click up here, go anim notify, and you'll see. Is it? Nope. Okay, let's try left. There we go. So if you type left, you get left footstep, and right, you get right footstep. Just want to space those out a little bit so we've got some room. And then what we're going to do is drag this guy off here. Put a branch in, connect that up to it. Copy and paste that for down here as well. And if it does, then we want to go get owning actor and spawn decal. We want to use this footprint interface here. Now this is the left footstep, so we want to make sure that's left and that this is set to L underscore footprint socket. Oh, I think I might actually want that on the other. We'll leave that for now. I think I've done this a little bit wrong here, but we'll see how we go. Actually, let's just check this. Left and left here, yeah, that should be right. We'll see. <laughs> and so we just copy paste this one down, click right, and then change this to right. We can file and save, uh, compile and save, and we should be done with that one now. So then the next thing we want to do is put some logic into our character. So you want to go back to the SGT folder, go to blueprints, game, and then open up survival character. And we want the event graph, and we're just going to do some new stuff up here. First thing we're going to do is create a new custom event and call it initialize can't see what I'm writing initialize footprints so then from that we want to call that on the event begin play so just here under this one we'll go initialize footprints now on event on event begin play we want to call another custom event Set character owner. We want to set that to uh, run on owning client, reliable. And so we'll call that first. Set character owner. Then we will go through. We need to add a footprint component to the character. And we want to drag this one in and we want to go set mesh. And we want to use our characters mesh for that. And then we also want to do set current footwear. And what we want to plug into that is actually a new variable. So promote the variable and just call that current foot yeah. so if you wanted to settle up so that you changed what your character was wearing on their feet in the footprints um, on your equip events you would change this variable here um, we also want another new variable I'm going to call this one is owner question mark I'm just using all the same names and logic from the uh, d footprint uh, developers logic so we want to set the is owner to true here. Then we want to get the mesh, get anim instance from that. We want to cast this to our survival game template anim blueprint. And then we want to go set is owner, which is that variable we made earlier in the other, in the anim blueprint. We just want to set that to true. So that covers the initialization part of it. The next thing we want to do is we want to add the footprint interface. So click on class settings under interfaces, click add, and then footprint interface. 
make sure we hit compile so then we can access the events. We want change foot state. Um, we want that as the event. And we want to use the footprint component and then go set foot state. Use that there. And we also want to use event spawn decal. And from this we want to go with branch, which only runs when is owner is set to true. And then we want to grab this guy here and go spawn decal. I'm just going to put this down a little bit so we can see the connections a bit better. Just hooking those guys up there. Okay, so once that logic is set up, this is basically going to do what we want it to do. Um, if you wanted to set up so you're changing the footwear and that on your equip events and that, you'd need to put a little bit more stuff in here, but I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. Um, so from there, I don't think we need to set any settings on here. No, we don't. Okay, so what we can do is open up our map. I think we should be more or less ready to go. Um, I will just check. Sometimes integrate, uh, migrating things with physics uh, materials doesn't work perfectly, so we're not gonna... Yep, they're, they're all connected. I basically just want to make sure these are connected. Um, so what we can do is give the landscape a default physics material. Now this landscape's completely uh, generated based on a single material layer. You can set up separate physics materials per uh, landscape material layers and that would be how you would do this normally but this is only going to have one layer in it. So we're just going to set this to dirt and with any luck we should have some sounds playing. I'll just turn the game sound up on the recording. Let's see how we go. Yep, so we've got some footstep sounds automatically. That's what we want. And now what we can do is drag in a cube, scale it up a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. Just move it down here. And we give this a material. So we're going to use the footprint materials from here. We're going to make this one sand. And we're going to give it a physics material of sand. Set up another one, and we're going to make this one mud, uh, which is, I think, dirt. Not sure. Give it a mud material. Might be wet, actually. We'll see. But anyway. So you can hear the footsteps have changed. There are footsteps being spawned in there. If we walk off, there's footprint trails left behind. So we've got dirt there, and there's some dirt being left behind, and it's currently set to the animal footprint, so that should possibly be set to wet. Yep, that's better. The wet noise, and there's some mud footsteps being left behind. So that's really rough how you set up the footprint system in here. Um, there is quite a lot of work to be done to get it working exactly how you want but from here it really depends a lot on your individual project and settings and all that sort of thing so this will give you a starting point to go from and yeah if you have any questions or feedback leave them in the comments below and if there's any other integration tutorials you want covered let me know guys cheers